same stuff I was going through in America. And let me try to get those people out of there. Let me inspire them. So I started doing this to inspire you to get out of here. You know? I see the point. I see the point of doing this. I understand now why this type of stuff that I'm doing is important. And y'all need to see this. I mean, for, for me, this was healing. And I know to a lot of people, this is healing. I mean, knowing that you are building your your own home. Like, this is not like you are going to uh, Century 21 to buy a house. Nah, this is like my imagination. And you can do that too. It's, 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 it's healing. Waking up in the morning, doing something that's in you. Like something that you dreamed of. Something that's in your head, manifesting your dream. We don't get that over there. And I feel like what I'm doing is helping, is helping a lot of people to heal. And I know what you, what you are going through right now. Cause I just came from there. And I'm also doing this to uh, uh, get you, um, to kind of uh, 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 get your mind out of there for a little bit, you know. That's I'm, I'm doing. I uh, like showing you how I uh, how I work in the city. I do stuff in the city, and I do stuff in the jungle. And and, and me mixing uh, the jungle and uh, what I'm doing here is to help you escape. Whatever it is that is going on over there in the West right now. I want you to dream. I want you to see yourself doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sharing all these videos. Because I know what y'all going through. When I was there like uh, a month and a half ago. I used to be like I, I was. I used to wait for the arrival to post. I used to wait for the Black Acres of the Gambia to post. I was waiting for those people who were in Africa while I was in America. I would wait for them to post because I knew that watching those videos would help me get by the day. And that's why I got from, you know, watching the Black Acres of the Gambia. I knew that uh, our people in America, they need this. They need this for real. Like, they can't, nobody could put up with uh, CNN and Fox and all of that. Those are depressing. Our people need positive. they need a lot of positivity. And this is positivity. Showing you all of this is positivity. And that's why I'm doing this. This right here is for the solar panel. This right here is going to the roof. It's going to the roof. And that's where uh, the, the the wire from the solar panel is going to come through here. And it's going to drop right there. And we are going to have uh, all our batteries. It's going to be like a little compartment. Like right here. Like right here. And that's where uh, all the solar panels are. Um, equipments as far as like uh, controllers the controller is going to probably be like right there you know the controller is going to be right there and um, the inverter is going to probably be right there and the batteries are going to be at the bottom and it's going to be like a little compartment and that little compartment is probably going to be this big and it's going to it's going to hold all the batteries and it's also going to hold the controller also uh the, the 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 inverter that's why we rent this because the the solar panel is going to be on top of the roof and his the, the solar panel the wire coming from the roof is going to drop and it's going to come out from right here and like i said the batteries the controllers and the the inverters all of them are going to be around here we're going to build a little compartment 
and we're gonna put like uh, you know all the batteries all the batteries are gonna be probably like uh, uh, six batteries and we're gonna put uh, some on top of not on top but we're gonna uh, have a clusters of in three and three and it's going to be six six batteries and uh, the, the inverter and the controllers is going to be like on the wall you know the bed is going to be right here and all that stuff right there is going to be right there you know and those solar panels I bought them they are on their way you know the containers should get here uh, anytime now that container it should get here anytime and then I'm going to get all my stuff everything that I, I, I went to buy uh, from America I'm gonna get all that you know so I'm doing this to inspire you to inspire you and I know y'all need this <laughs> you can't uh, like all the things that are going on with CNN like CNN goal is to depress people it's to, it's to push people over the edge and I'm like nah I'm not having it and I'm gonna uh, be uh, sharing uh, things that are going to lighten up your day things that are going to make you feel happy because you can do all of this this is not difficult this right here ain't difficult at all we all can do this man you could do uh, uh, you could work uh, minimum wage I don't know uh, how much minimum wage is right now but I think it's it's over it's like 850 now minimum wage nationwide I'm not I'm talking about federal minimum wage it's like 850 you could do minimum wage work for for a year but it's gonna be tough saving money because you know uh, you gotta you gotta eat so it's gonna be tough it's gonna be, yeah it's gonna be tough if you do minimum wage you may not be able to save up to come do this in in Africa you would need some uh, some financial support or you would need to find a way to uh, get a residual income while in Africa or over there in America you could do fundraising like you could you could fundraise uh, money uh, come to Africa and do this you know this is not going to cost me more than twenty five thousand dollars this right here this project right here is not going to cost me more than twenty five thousand dollars I told you the, the the guy with the truck. He's he he is asking me five hundred dollars. I may end up giving him the five hundred dollars just so I'm I'm go I can be done with this. Look at all the birds, man. Birds are everywhere, man. So I might end up giving him five hundred dollars just so I could get all my lugs, all the lumber out here as, as as quick as possible. I want I want to give him. I I really want to give him uh, four hundred dollars. You know, I'm trying to rent a, a truck, a big truck, you know, a, a ten wheeler, and I wanted to go in there and, and pick up all my all my lugs, bring it here, because we needed to uh, finish up with the, with this house. You know, I'm also going to be uh, uh, I'm going to be running fundraising, and I hope that you are uh, going to support the uh, are going to support me. You know, I'm I'm doing that fundraising so that uh, we could get uh, I can get more people, more locals in on the land, and I can start working the land. And like I said, I want to be able to build uh, some housing in there to uh, host some of our people from the diaspora in the West. You know, I want to be able to host people come like May I like to be able to host people like May or June you know y'all need to uh, come and visit and see Africa it's a bedroom right here and this is a, its window look at all these rock that we broke from the land and we got sweet potatoes everywhere I swear to God, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be eating a lot of sweet potato, and I'm not paying for none of them. Like they just growing. Look at that. Free sweet potatoes. Yo, look right here. This cassava right here. Yo, I I got free food, and I'm I, I didn't even plant them. They just grown like somebody had did the work a long time ago, and these these things just keep popping. Like it's crazy.
It's crazy, man. If you go hungry in Africa, going hungry in Africa is violent. It is voluntary. You got to be super extra lazy to go hungry in Africa. I mean, there's food growing everywhere. I mean, you could, I could literally just become a scavenger, but I'm not doing that. But if it was like, if, if, if I was so hungry, I was just go to, I was just walk into somebody's backyard and ask them if I could get some fruit or whatever. And most people would be like, yeah, go ahead. You want some oranges? I right, go ahead, get some. You want some mango? I right, go ahead, get some. Nobody like would, uh, you know, make a, a, a fuss uh, because you wanted to eat a couple of mangoes. So it's really, really hard to go hungry in Africa. It's really hard. You got to be super duper extra lazy to go hungry in Africa. You don't need the government to help you. Nature is doing it by itself. Nature is doing it by itself. I told you. I got cassava. I got sweet potatoes growing on the land. And if you go in the land over there in the jungle, man, we got we even got more food over there. And I'm going to grow more food. You know, this upcoming uh, agricultural season, I'm going to grow watermelon. I'm going to grow a lot of things. And I want y'all to come visit. With a, and I want you to eat a lot of food. I want you to eat so much, you would want to come back. So, what else? Like I said, I'm going to be raising like fifteen hundred dollars. I know, I know, fifteen hundred dollars. It might, you know, it might sounds like a lot, but I know if everybody, if everybody is on the lookout, everybody, you know, everybody who's like watching, wants to help, you know, reaching that, uh, the uh, reaching fifteen hundred dollars shouldn't take us like shouldn't take us too long, you know. Fifteen hundred dollars, I think, is good enough to uh, to start with. You know, fifteen hundred dollars. That's a lot to motivate people to get to convince a couple of people to go in into the jungle to work the land, and that land is going to feed us for years. But to get them to uh, to convince them to uh, follow me in the jungle, I need something. You know, I already got a little bit, but I, I need to add some more, like, because what I got is not enough to get all the people that I need on the land, to start working the land. So on that note, uh, please like, uh, please share on your social media, and uh, subscribe, right? Them's are the kids, uh, working, the, they're my neighbor. So, uh, like, uh, share. Uh, subscribe uh, this is my house this is mine like I own this this is mine for good and I'm th after I'm dead like after I, when I die my kids are going to you know my kids are going to get this and uh, all those uh, other properties that I'm going to build this is just this is like uh, this is just the kickstart this is my launch pad this right here is my office. This is where I'm going to strategize to get a real property. I'm not saying this is fake property, but I'm saying this is my launch pad. This is my Kickstarter. And, uh, you know, from here on, uh, there's a lot of things that's going to happen. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Peace.